With your child's physical health, their mental health is also important in times like these. News Channel 8's Rod Carter continues our team covers live at the Crisis Center of Tampa with more on helping kids cope. I mean, I know as an adult, I'm struggling to understand how this happens, what we should do with all this information. I can't even imagine what it's like for the kids. You know, and especially since this is, Jen, the 22nd school shooting this year, that is why the folks here at the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay want to make sure that all of us talk about our feelings and especially talk about those feelings with our children. As the shock and sadness sets in. It's one of our fears as parents to send our kids to school nowadays and not know that they're safe. Parents and children in Texas left reeling from this latest school shooting. You're scared, you're traumatized. But not just in the Lone Star State. Across the country, emotions are running high. 211, this is Mary. How may I help you? At the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. <laughs> when tragedies like this occur, their phones at 211 start ringing. I would really encourage families today to really think about this because, again, this is number 22. Crisis Center Director Clara Reynolds tells me people are looking for help coping and for advice to help their children process their feelings. And it all starts, she says, with a simple conversation. Did you hear what happened in Texas today? And if your child says no, explaining with facts, with what actual in information, what happened today, step by step by step. And because it's happened so much, Clara tells me children are becoming immune. Our kids are getting a little crispy around this issue. They're getting, they're starting to get a little bit numb. And it may feel like you don't need to talk to your child because maybe your child's not expressing anything today. That is why it is so incredibly important that you have that conversation today. The Crisis Center open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And again, they encourage people to give them a call if they want to talk about this. And certainly, maybe give them a call just to get information on how to talk to their children as well. Jen? It's an important conversation to have. Rod Carter, live in Tampa for us tonight. Thank you, sir.